Okay. Welcome back to my vlog. Today is Tuesday. I had a therapy appointment today. That went pretty good. Ran a couple of errands. Probably gonna journal. Might cry a little. We'll see where the day takes me. I don't work till Thursday night, so we're chilling until then. Solid. Oh my god, it is so fucking cold today. So when I got back to Washington last night, it was snowing. Um, that was just like the perfect welcome fucking home. I love that for me. It feels weird being back like half of February. I wasn't even in Washington state. I've got that going for me. Slowly getting back into my routine and everything and like even driving feels fucking weird. The highlights of my therapy session. <sighs> Talking about some of my childhood trauma, blah, blah, blah. Going to Guam, all that stuff, all that razzle dazzle. We also talked about going to Arizona and how like much of a difference it is being back home and back on night shift schedule and it's winter and I don't see the sunlight ever. Just trying to keep myself busy so that I don't like live for working basically. Like anticipate going back to work because let me tell you that pretty weak anxiety that I get is so fucking irritating. I think I'm gonna go grab something to eat first because I'm kind of hungry. We're gonna go to one of my favorite places. Sorry, Janelle, I'm going to eat wontons because I'm fucking hungry. <gasps> no fucking way. Oh my fucking, hang on, I'm about to call Janelle. Janelle, bitch, are you working right now? The wonton noodle place? Fucking closed. That makes me so sad. Hey bitches. So I just got back from running errands. I literally only did two things today and I'm kind of tired. So from Costco, I got melatonin. This is the melatonin I usually get at Whole Foods, but I saw it at Costco and I was like, it's probably cheaper than Whole Foods anyways. I just do the five milligrams. I like it because it's strawberry flavored and it works pretty quickly. I take like three or four. Three usually. I don't think I've ever gone past like four though. Got some ground beef at Costco. Got some alcohol too. And some vitamins. It was only six bucks. So I'd say that's a steal compared to like 30 to 60 bucks outside of Costco. Um, mm, yummy. I walked into this before for one thing, right? When I was in Arizona, I was trying to look for it, but of course it was like, didn't have it. It's the Pharmacy Deep Sweet BHA thing. I've tried the Polish Choice one. Is it gonna? Oh, girl. I tried the Polish Choice. Um, like I was using that before. The one that comes in like the dark, the charcoal gray container. So my back is itchy right now. But I didn't really like it. Like it doesn't mesh well with my skin. And like BHA is basically just salicylic acid and my skin does fine with salicylic acid. But I think their formula is too like hydrating for me like my skin just doesn't like it so i'm gonna try this toner because before this i was using the um bayer's witch hazel one which i know a lot of people are like darn it it's like 2022 20, like you should definitely not be using that but like it works for my skin especially in like the hospital where my skin gets oily as fuck because the hospital air is just so fucking dry and plus the face masks that you put on are like, every time they rub against my skin, they're like drying it out. It's not like a recipe for disaster. I was gonna walk out with that and then they were like, oh, if you spend $75, then you get 500 of the bonus points. And I was like, I want 500 bonus points. So I got the Olaplex number three. Cause I wanted to try this. I've seen bitches do it. It's like a pre-shampoo treatment, whatever. Cause I only wash my hair once a week, which I know people are like, that's so fucking nasty, but also it's like not really good to wash your hair every single day Especially when it's winter and that's just gonna dry out your hair more Plus my man's doesn't like live with me So it just like works out where I can wash my hair once a week and like get away with it Anyways, I also got this travel size YSL black opium perfume I don't know if I will be traveling anytime soon Hopefully because Washington is not the moves right now y'all The regular black opium you can hand carry that and it'll be fine i just don't like it because it just takes up too much space i've been traveling with three fucking toiletry bags and why the fuck do i need three girl i'm about to do my laundry from my trip and put some things away and chill the rest of the night probably edit this vlog yeah because i haven't put out a vlog in a while just because Think of like the traveling that I've been doing and just like all the emotional shit that I've been going through.
back at it again, bitches. We're at Goodwill. One time they're all fucking closed. COVID took away a lot of good things for us. I'm really sad. <laughs> Where's that KBBQ place we went? A re-ring. That's the one's like $23, right? Or something that's like all you can eat. That's the one where we're like stuffing the fucking meat under the sound. <laughs> You get a plastic bag. Bro, kind of okay. like there have been so it. many times where Janelle wouldn't come with us to KVQ and we zip block that shit for her. Good time. Why didn't I go? I don't know why you didn't go. Was I busy? No, you were literally home. <laughs> now I'm more sociable. My roommate thinks uh, you have to be though. In I nursing, know. you have to be. I know. But it's be so irritating nursing. how they're like self care. Oh yeah. And then like they shove all this shit down your throat. <laughs> I love. I just hated her fucking class. <laughs> I couldn't be awake for it. Bro, I would shower, I would work out during that class. I would do everything in that class. Except that class. Camera off. <laughs> I would have my camera on and fall asleep on camera. I still think about that time where you, um, <laughs> whose class is that? Yeah, what should I do? She's asking him something about like COVID and everything. And Janelle was like, instead of sending resources, they sent body, body bags. bags. The like, woman oh. was too stunned to speak. I know. The woman was too stunned to speak. Out of those 48 years, only 10 months of bed psych, and she's like, I hated it, and I want to, I threw up every day. Yeah, I feel that. I still feel that, and I'm not even in it. You people in my cohort who, like, were nurses before, not for a long time, like, maybe, like, one or two years of bedside, and they're like, you're lucky that you got to skip it. <laughs> it's so traumatizing for no fucking reason at all. Because my patients are awake. Yeah. Because <laughs> I applied to for a med surge and telly floor because I was like, oh fuck, like Hell everyone else. No. You want to do telly, you know? I didn't want to, it was the only thing available. <laughs> I got an interview set up and everything and then like the day before, I was like, like never mind, I'm gonna cancel it. And then I just- I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first, Lucian. And I did, and I just kept working in Costco and then I was like, Trying yeah. to figure out the housing situation, which was stressful, and then mm -hmm. job situation, which was also stressful. But look at you now. I feel a lot less stressed. Now I just need to focus on like getting better at my job. Yeah. And everything else is kind of like. That's good though. You're exactly where, you know what I mean? Like you wanted to be. It's have, been fun. Have you like gotten yelled at by any like patients? No, not patients. Oh, I get yelled at all the fucking time. By a surgeon? Not yet, but also they like ask me for stuff now. Mm. They'll be like, can you get me this, 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 and this? And I'm like, <laughs> and already don't know what it means. I spell <laughs> things wrong all the time. I try my best and then I show my preceptor. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> and they're like, come on, we'll go together. I'm like, okay, thank you. But yeah, like I'm starting to like kind of get it a little more like the flow because there's a lot of like little details. Yeah. Like we learned There's about so much shit you don't learn in nursing school. Every pretty much everything. Full nurse and like I was like during practicum. <laughs> okay. Like, no, I had me to not have, even get one patient. You know, the one time I had my one patient, she walked out. It's okay. We've moved on. <laughs> Most of my patients are asleep. All my patients are asleep. You put in Foley's? Yeah. I put in one. It's Foley's so sofa. hard on old people, like older women too, oh. because I'm like. Like, where is it? Stretch it up. Like, hello. <laughs> Bigger patient. Mm -hmm. I had to have my preceptor, like, hold up, like, the panis. The panis. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm. We do nursing talk now. That's crazy. I just hate the question where, like, people are like, why'd you choose the OR? A lot of nurses are very honest about it. They're like, yeah, I, I hate that thing. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I hate when my patients are awake. Like, I see you. I just feel like it's so bad when I try to explain it to a non-nurse. It's so irritating talking to people about, bad. like, how stressful healthcare is who don't work in healthcare. Yeah, because they're like, I think we're all stressed. I Shut think the fuck up! I'm like, okay, but when the healthcare field collapses, who's gonna take care of you during fucking exactly. COVID? Exactly, when all the nurses have left. And it's not just COVID, like, there's other things that people have. It looks it. really good when you say, oh yeah, I we're just trauma center. Janelle's looping me in. <laughs> I'm telling you! <laughs> Honestly, it just depends on what unit you're on. I think the OR is very good. You would like it there. I think I would too. I fuck it. You would like it there. It's just so different than like floor nursing. It's very, very, mm. very different. She's gonna have me applying in fucking August. But anyways, we're gonna go thrift shopping now. Um, thanks for coming on. Thanks for hanging out with us on our car talk. Yes, nursing. <sighs> <laughs> God. I hate it's this still shit. surreal. Bro, I be getting so disoriented after my shifts. I be badging into my car, badging into <laughs> my apartment. My badge reel has um you ever watch The Office? Yeah. Has prison mic on it. <laughs> my and my old patients are just like the girls that get it. Get it. And the girls who don't, don't. 
from therapy. I'm learning to give myself grace. I want to just be good at it, but they're like, no, it takes time. Yeah. Like anything. It just takes experience. We're in like the thick of it. Like, Abel tells me this all the time. He's like, you're just going through the suck right now. And I'm like, mm -hmm. it fucking hurt too. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. It could have. You gotta deal with a lot of shit. Yeah. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> It's okay. We're getting. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> March, April, May, June, July, August, September, months, October. So. Take seven months. You got this. Six months. You got this. Six months. Jamie Nevada, please don't leave SU. What kind of car is? <laughs> he told me this. Hang on. <laughs> I told him every time my mom asks me what kind of car you have, I say it's black. It's a Camaro. Fuck Uncle Ike's. Let me show you True. Shade. He said, oh, this was dessert. <laughs> Oh, they're cute. That's cute. You know what? You fucking have fun. You want to wave at random people? Oh, I'm just a kid. 